Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Long back, I have created one video where I demonstrated how you can connect with SharePoint. In that video, I showed you that you don't need to combine the files or you don't need to use the traditional SharePoint method to connect with your Excel file to your Power BI Desktop and publish that back into the Power BI. After that, I got lots of comments over there, people who are really happy with the solution. But there were also a couple of questions on the top of that about the data refresh, how it can be done, how it can happen automatically. And also people were asking that what if there would be some changes in the file, then how long it takes to reflect over there. Well, if you are also working on the Excel file from the SharePoint and you are bringing the data to your Power BI desktop, then this video is for you. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to BA Consulting Pro and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest video and contents. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get back to on my desktop and I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, this is my Power BI Desktop app over here. I have logged in, I have saved this file and also I have my one of the data file over here, which is airportdata.csv. We are going to use this file. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to simply open the file in your app. So do remember that you have to open the file in your Power BI Desktop app of Microsoft Office. There we are going to copy the file path and we are going to use it. If you don't know this one, then you can also watch my previous video where I have showed everything related to this one. So this is going to be really helpful. There's another way as well to do this. You can simply click on the file. Then you would come over here to this I button. Over here, you have to go down and then you would find a path. So just copy this one. For the previous one, when you are going to open that into your Excel app of Microsoft Office, then you can watch my previous video if you are uh, if you are having any concern regarding that one. Now I just copy this file path from here. This is another trick to do that. So that I thought that would be really helpful for you. That's why I'm taking this one. Now here, what we are going to do, we are not going to use this one. We are going to use this get data from web. So use this option. This is very convenient method. And this is what I have explained in my last video as well. And now you can see that you have this complete path without even at last the question mark, which you're going to get if you are going to get from this one so it's still taking time to open it it will take time i'm going to show you or just watch my previous video that would be helpful now click over here and it's saying that this data set is too large for the excel grid if you save this workbook you will lose the data that wasn't loaded it's okay we don't need to worry about it and here it also opens so if you are gonna open the file into your office 365 app then you have to come over here and then you will go into the info path and here you can copy this path but do remember that if you're going to copy this path, then there would be a slight change. For example, you have to go to notebook. So here you are going to paste this path and here you have to delete this path starting from the question mark and only use this one. However, if you are just going to follow my instructions over here, you would come to the I button on your SharePoint and then you are going to copy this path. Then you don't need to remove anything. Simply use this one. So this is another quick way to use it. Now let's come back over here and we are going to say yes, we are going to use the same one here. You can log in with your own credentials. For example, if I'll come here and I say, okay, log in with my organization credentials, it may ask me, but I have already logged in. So let's say what it says. Yes, it's asking me to log in. So let me log in with one of my account. Here is my BA Consulting Pro account. And now you can see that it has connected. Now it's establishing a connection. This part I have already covered guys. It's just a new trick that I thought it would be really great to show you. And I'm not going to make any changes over here. If you would like to do, you can simply come to this transform tab and then you can make the changes. I'll say simply load the data because here our intention is not to show you how to do the data transformation or anything else. It's just how to get data from Excel file that is stored on your SharePoint or OneDrive and then schedule the refresh or see how the data refresh can happen. Okay guys, now you can see on your screen that one of the loaded query contains some errors and the file has been loaded. That's all right. Now, if you will see that we have already the data, we have the flights over here and then also we have the origin city. If you want to make any graph or chart over here, you can do that quite easily. 
and he is something like that then if you would like to put certain filters you can do that too let's convert that into a filter very quickly but our intention is we want to publish this file so first you have to sign in over here and here I have to again log in with my account so it would take a couple of seconds to log in and now you would see that I have signed in successfully with my name now I'm going to publish this into one of my workspace and the file name is refresh data from Excel file I'll say save and do remember that right now I'm doing everything on my Power BI desktop the file is also saved on my desktop not on OneDrive or SharePoint but the data I'm getting from the SharePoint so that's the important point that you should remember I'll publish this into my demo workspace now my file has already been published so I can come here I'll go to my demo workspace so let me go over there which is over here this is my file refresh data from Excel if I'm gonna open this one it's gonna show me the same report but our main point over here to refresh the data or to schedule the refresh over here so click over here whenever you are on your Excel file and you can see that there's a credential missing it's gonna ask you credential you don't need to use your Power BI data gateway over here that's the most important part so the questions that I was receiving that people wanted to schedule the refresh what if there's gonna be any change in the file how you are gonna handle that and how long it's gonna to take to reflect on your report to come to all those questions over here there's an article and this article is by Microsoft refresh a semantic model creating from an Excel workbook on OneDrive or SharePoint there's some important information as well some of the functionality that was over there has been reduced and some other new functionality has been put over there or let's say they brought over here into power bi and excel uh, connection the most important part is over here what are the advantage under the advantage you will see that power bi automatically connects to the workbook on onedrive or sharepoint online approximately every hour to check for the updates if the workbook has changed power bi refreshes the semantic model and reports in the power bi service that means you don't need to do anything once you are over here what you have to all do you have to come here you have to enter your credentials so always use your organization account that's what I'll say don't go for something else otherwise you can also use service principal if you are using that for the account so I'll go for auth2 over here and I'll set privacy to none and then simply sign in here again it's gonna ask my organization account and you would see that after some time it's gonna sync and it's going to be done over here now it has been done now after that this is a live connection so you don't need to do anything over here this is completely a live connection and whenever you are going to come here and let's suppose you make any changes inside your report and after some time it would automatically refresh generally after every hour and the changes are going to reflect in case some of the changes are not reflecting then you can also over here click on this refresh visuals once you click on refresh visuals then the data is automatically going to connect it so here's the answer for all those people who are asking me continuously can we do the live refresh can we do the data refresh etc etc then yes answer is it would automatically happen because the connection between the SharePoint file and the Power BI is going to be the live connection and by default Power BI automatically refreshes every hour however if you are not patient enough you can come back again onto your report and here you are going to find your report let's say this one and there also you can click on this on demand refresh so this is known as on demand refresh and you can click over here in ideal scenario you don't need to do anything it will do automatically I hope I have addressed your all the questions in this video if you have any more questions concerns or feedback please do let me know by commenting in the comment section also if you are looking for any of the power bi training Microsoft fabric training or any other related trainings to this please do contact us we provide live sessions as well as we provide consulting services and we can definitely help you out till next time keep learning keep exploring the world of data and once again if you haven't subscribed this channel subscribe now share this video with your friends and colleagues and let us know what do you think about it i'm gonna see you soon